But the arrow function, which is actually a very cool way to write a function, very similar to a function, so you can see what's noticing, what, what's changing here. We just put an arrow here. It's like a, a function that if it, we try to do the same, we try to call it before, this is gonna throw you an error because it's actually not hoisted. So when should I use a normal function versus an error function? The truth is that you can always use a function instead of using an error function, uh, especially at the beginning, seems more of a flex. But the great advantage of this arrow function is definitely the concise syntax of the function. It's very cool that you can do something like that. When you get more into the details, I feel like you want to start to use these things. For example, in Unity, something that I was always used to use was the ternary operator, which is very cool to use. And it kind of it's very legible and also online that avoids you to do an if statement basically uh, so i would say kind of the same vibe here but it's also good practice to put const type in 